there's a thin layer of dust that's been thickening over the intervening months since last time we played careers but we are not done until we are dead and it is time once again for the real people multi-game solitaire mega tournament we are going to explore the aftermath of all that sports we've been engaged in over the winter time and see what game we get to play next which I'm kind of excited for uh, so let's let's let um, our champion here our raging champion little red go in first he has nine of these reroll chips that don't count as turns for him and I don't know what that's for four I'm kinda have to remember how this goes but I don't think it's too hard okay two hearts so I gotta write that down don't I yeah two hearts for a little red. Forgive me here. And he gets those two hearts for scoring a goal from the penalty box. So he was in, I think that's that's a hockey thing, I'm thinking. All right, and that would have been one of these, right? Okay, we're getting this. We know how to how it works. That, that means that's a turn. So he's not using his reroll for that. One, two, three, four, five. The fans love you, little red. And I know you all felt that um, when you watched Raging Champions, because I'm sure you watched the whole thing. So it's another six hearts and two stars for a little red. Oh, we gotta do this. One, two, won the Derby, $20,000 prize. This is huge. I don't remember what little red's going for. I haven't looked at that thing for a while, but um, we'll look at that soon. So now, that's three. Now we're gonna use one of these chips, because he's gonna be going around again. One, two. Instant replay. Throw again. That's not going to count as a turn. One, two, three, four, five. Blitz! Go to the hospital. He's going to use one of these to put that blitz down on everyone else. And that's going to go all the way down to Danimal. Everyone's going to get minus one. So I'll just make a note of that over on my paper here. Most, a lot of games, you'd be surprised how much easier it is to do the game if you just use paper instead of components. Um, and this is one of those games. Okay, so that will take a turn though. Well, no, you, yeah, yeah, we'll take that turn. Roll again. One, two, three, four, five, six. He gets another throw again, and that's going to use up one of these. One. Forget your trunks. Find 2,000 or go to unemployment. I think he will go ahead and throw that down the way. Yeah. I, think he'll, well, I, I think we should probably look at what his goals are. Little Red, where are you? Little Red, he... Oh, gosh, I really should have looked at this. He does want some money, but he's got, he's got more than enough to meet his money goal. He needs 10,000 and the rest in hearts. Okay, so he'll go ahead and take that. That'll be just a turn. And we'll just do a little, turn that into an 18, the mat, little pencil magic there, and roll again. He got a one. That's two more hearts. That's what he wants, apparently. So that gives him a net of eight hearts. I don't think this is going to be winning in the game, but it's going to definitely help. One, two, three, four, five. The fans love you still. You're loving this whole sequence where he, where we get to watch him go around the board. That's four stars. Okay. This is getting into this. All right, roll again. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Scores another goal from the penalty box there. That's exciting. He's, you can see his strengths. He's good at scoring goals from the penalty box. And he's good at being loved, which one, two, three, four, five, six, hole in one. It that that's not such a bad way to live your life, really. If you could have like two skills, hole in one gave him six hearts. Those aren't bad things. Now he has hole in one. He can golf as well as play hockey. And I think there's probably like some similar skills there with hockey and golf. The the golf stick is similar to the hockey stick. One, two, three, four, five. Another score from the penalty box for a little red. That takes him to 22. 
don't know if he has any hearts yet from before. I'm sure he does, because maybe he went to college. Did he go to college? I know it's been so long. It helps to have some institutional memory for these things. One, two, three. Blitz go to the hospital. He's going to pass that down to the others. And that's going to be minus two. Danimal's got to watch out. He has three now. So now he's down to one. So he might get hit. He's probably going to get hit with a penalty before he can he can um, even go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Throw again. Four. One, two, three, four. The score is love. Now that's kind of perfect for the love the fans have for him. And that's going to take him up to 26 there. And he's using a lot of turns on this too. So this isn't all roses like we've got. Oh, I don't know however much that is. Two, one, two. Another 10,000 bonus. He doesn't really want that. He wants the hearts. But with the money, maybe he can get those... Uh, Nice opportunity cards to get into the, you know, certain careers or whatnot. Um, all right, here we go. Let's roll again. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Forget your trunks. Two thousand. He'll take the penalty. He has to spend that because he's going around again. Um, so he's down to only twenty-six thousand. Poor baby. All right, let's roll again. He's not a baby. He's not even, he's smiling about it. Why am I being so mean? One, two, three, four. Let's go to the hospital. He's going to use this up, and that is going to take away Danimal's last one. If you remember, these, these white chips, you can use them to go back around the career, or you can use them to avoid something bad in the career. Because um, the game that they played before says that they're really good at sports, so he'd be able to avoid that. Um, and so everyone else is just passing it down because no one wants to have to go to the hospital. Um, Danimal is at the end now. He's, this says three, but there's a minus three there, so he's at zero. Next time a go to the hospital thing comes, it's going to hit him. Um, here we go. One, two, three, four, and another $20,000. If he had a different goal, he would have reached the goal by now. Um, it's another one of these, and then he's going to roll his way out. Three. One, two, three. So he's at space. And he could probably afford to go into space if he wants to, um, but we won't. he doesn't have to make that decision right now. So I'm going to do some paperwork. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through everyone else and just let you know how it turned out. Before we do that paperwork, let's look at where Little Red got to or where he is right now. So he's at 40... I can't remember my handwriting. He had 15, so he's at 46, um, 46 hearts right now. He needs to get four more, and he's reached his goal because he definitely has the money. But he's on turn 21, so we're going to be waiting a while to see if he's successful. If I remember Vaughn was doing really well. Um, she had 33, yeah. So she needs 17, but she's on turn 12, so she could she could pro she could very likely hit it before he does. But that's where Little Red's at. He's we're going to leave him in the space square and we're not going to know whether he goes into space or not for for quite a while if ever someone could win the game before he gets another turn all right smiley went through she didn't hit any um negative things which makes the others who were behind her feel very good what she did get was a ton of money seventy four thousand, and some happiness so she's 20 away from winning 20 hearts away from winning uh, she ended up on this opportunity knock space and if you remember you know we've got very few, only two cards here, and one of them is the golden opportunity to go to the space of her choice. So she chose teaching. She joined that track, filled up the last spot there in teaching. And turn 18, so she's kind of in a similar place as Little Red, probably a worse space because she's not as close to, to her goal. She needs to hit 20. He needs to hit four. Yeah. I'm jumping in here, middle of Weasel's turn. He's gone around once. He's already, um, Weasel's kind of got a reverse of uh, Little Red and Sunny, who have, or Smiley, who have, actually have the same goals. Weasel needs to get 50K and 10 hearts. He's already got his heart requirement, uh, 12, from just going through. So if he can get um, the kind of anywhere near the kind of money that they got, uh, well, he needs to get quite a bit. He needs to get 50,000. But if he can get that, which we saw um, both Smiley and pretty almost Little Red got on their turns, then he could be 
at its at its goal. So then it'd just be a matter of turns. So I I won't. Do you wanna do you wanna watch him do this? I don't know. I think you do. Five. One, two, three, four, five. More hearts. I'm gonna actually stop it here because um, it's just really hard to write and film at the same time. And yeah, it's kind of clunky. One thing that's exciting is he, he did get this experience card. No one landed on this one before, but tackled by eight men, you get to draw an experience card. That's really useful on these tracks because you can, if you're in the right spot, you can kind of choose what you want. And you know what he wants. He wants, that, he wants to win the Derby and get that $20,000 for winning the Derby. And Weasel just won the Derby twice. He um, he got it on a natural roll both times, I think. And he used uh, his experience card to get the, the 10K. No, maybe he used it to get the 20K. I think he landed on the 10K, then used the experience card to get the 20K. Went around again, landed on it. Um, so now I think we're just going to count up his turns. And I don't know if he wants to go back around again. I don't think he does. Uh, yeah, so he's just going to use this to get out of there so he's out of the way. Or maybe he'll just stay here. He's gonna stay here because he doesn't really need to do anything for the rest of the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fifth, uh, that's eight and he had seven so he's at 15 turns. So if no one else wins at 15, he's got the game. So I can take out the people who've gone past that, I guess, can't I? This could make things much simpler. So this is a little rough. I actually am going to have to say goodbye to both Smiley and Little Red. They are out of the tournament. There's no way they can continue now. And they both, I mean, have had a lot of fun games with both of them. Smiley did the, the whole Star Masters thing. A lot of music with Star Masters. And Little Red, he was part of that group that I've done a ton of game time with. Uh, but they're both gone. On the bright side, I was able to put their cards back in. So we have a few more cards there along with weasels. So um, why don't we sing a little song of goodbye to our friends. Goodbye for now. We'll have other games, but it won't be the same as now or then. Let's sing a little song of goodbye to our friends, Smiley and Little Red. Hope you come again. Hope to see you again, Big Speedleman. Snugbug's turn. He's in a tough place now. He's on turn 11. Uh, he's got a pretty hard goal to meet right now. He's got his... He's got 30 happiness he has to hit, uh, 20 stars, and 10,000 all in four turns. And he's already got one. So I think we'll go through it now because this might be the end of Snugbug. Um, I should see if he has any relevant cards back there. Oh, he does. Okay, let's see what those are. He's got a couple experience cards, a move four and a move three. The move four would get him to the hospital. The move three would get him four hearts. But that's still going to be a turn. I don't think there's any way he can do it. Well, um, yeah, I think he's the type that he would just probably give it up at this point and sing another song of goodbye to our friends. That was so much fun to see you play in this game. All right. Stubby had a pretty good go of it, um, but it highlights how difficult this is going to be for anyone else. Um, if he had rolled differently, he would have maybe got his goal. He got 21,000, uh, got the hearts easily. Um, he had a point where he could have gotten 10,000, but he decided he had one more white chip. He thought he'd go around again trying to get that derby prize again instead. Uh, thought maybe he could get that, but he did not. So um, ended up with 21,000, 20 hearts, has his heart goal, 10 turns. So he's got uh, five turns to, to try and either match or equal Weasel. Um, his Opportunity Knox card is Special Opportunity to Enter Politics, which is pretty nice. So he could go into politics and there's not a lot of money in there though, that's the problem. He would just have to sell his memoirs uh, six times <laughs> in order to in order to match up if he does that. He might have to just go for it though in order to, um, to have a shot. I'll have to do some thinking on that. 
So Stubby's going to go for it. He, he looks ahead on the board. There's not anything until business that would really give him any money. And most of business is just a bump in salary, which doesn't do him a whole lot of good. So he's going to enter politics, which is a small field right now anyway. So that's, that's going to be kind of nice for him. Um, there's a good shot that to do that. But then, he, you know, he's really got to win that game in order to... Uh, have a shot at winning careers, win that game, and then just be really lucky on this track. And that's what Stubby's Stubby's going to go for. But Stubby, you know, he's he's a man of faith. He's got some some strong ideals, and he believes in some things. And he believes maybe those things will work out for him. And if they don't, well, at least he tried. You know, at least he went for it. And it happened on Junior's turn. He landed on either pay two thousand or go to unemployment. He couldn't afford the money, so he had to use his last chip. Um, so Danimal is in unemployment now. If there's any other problems on Junior's turn, that's going to also put Flush in either unemployment or the hospital. I'm going to roll this out. One, two, three, four. There we go. Flush is going to be in the hospital. Or, or Cat, actually. Well, no. They're going to roll up. No, she's got one, so she's going to lose hers. And then Flush is going to go in the hospital. Yeah. So Cat's going to have no re-rolls on, on her turn. Um, gotta keep track of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So not super great for Junior. Junior's high on turns too. So he's gonna be at like turn 11. Not a lot of prospects. He might need to drop out, but we'll see. Junior's gonna stick it out and see if he can get into space. There's really no way he can get his, he has to get 40 stars. He has none. He has half of his, his, um, his happiness goal. Didn't really need money, didn't get any money, so he's gonna sit there. If he did get money, he would have spent it on happiness at this Paris weekend. So now we're gonna go Kaz and Kat. Kaz, interesting, she's still on turn one. So this will be turn two right here for her. I forget how she did it, but she only had one turn. Uh, one, I'm just gonna give her two hearts, and I, I'm not gonna do this on camera. Kat ended up with a pretty nice run. She ended up in the Paris weekend with, with Junior, neither of them are going, but she has $11,000, eight hearts, um, so she's, you know, about a third of the way to, to that and over a third of the way to that, no fame, but she's only on turn five, so she's still got some go in her, and now we got to figure out what game we're going to play next and what's going on with the other people on the map, I suppose. Got to look at turns and take turns and do all that fun stuff. This has been a very meaty session of careers, and it continues, folks. Going around, I just realized Twigmar is on turn 15, so he's going to be out of the game too, um, which we will sing another song. Goodbye to our friends. Hope we play this game again. Careers with Twigmar. Danwell had to pay 250 to leave unemployment, but then he ended up in a Hawaiian holiday. Got four hearts for that. Desi, I realized, is not supposed to be able to just stay there, but as an experiment, we're going to let him anyway. He's supposed to roll. Um, but I think on his next, he's supposed to roll to be able to stay there. But I think on his next turn, he's actually going to roll to move off because he knows he can't. I mean, if you just do the math, there's no way he can win by just staying there. Uh, you know, because he has a term, he only has eight more turns, which would get him 16 more hearts, which is not enough. Um, Kaz and Kat, she's going into ecology, hoping to hit Lucky. Uh, she She's on turn six now, which is which is pretty good. She got a, a nice roll to go off. Um, needs some more hearts. There's some hearts in ecology. There's also some money. So she's hoping she can use her experience cards to get her money up. That's not gonna get her the fame though. So she's gonna have to be thinking about that going forward. Maybe needs to get into the arts somehow. Uh, but maybe by the time she's done with ecology, someone will have a card to sell or something. Right now, it's kind of slim pickings. Danimal left Hawaii, got Opportunity Knox cards. That special opportunity to enter sports we saw so often came up again. He decided to take it. Um, didn't work so well for him the first time, but feels like he his practice and, uh, and his mountain climbing skills will help him go through this time. So he gets to go in for free, and that's, that's all there is to say about that. Desi uh, left Hawaii finally, and he landed with a golden opportunity to enter the, the, the space of his choice. He's going to go with teaching. Now, that leads us into a quandary. The teaching thing is full right now. 
So one of two things can happen. Either I need to find another game for the teachers to do, which are sailors in this game, if you recall, because um, I don't have any teaching games that don't involve actually teaching students or something. Uh, so we're, we're having that be sailing, because in other careers games they have sailing in the teaching space and they're essentially the same, uh, which tells you something about the world. Sailing and teaching are the same. So either he's going to be able to squeeze into that game or the teachers are going to have to, or the sailors are going to have to do their sailing so that he can then join that occupation just to kind of free it up. So one of those t two things will happen. Either way, it's going to be interesting. Vaughn, who, you know, looking at it now, it doesn't seem like she's doing that great, but she's very close, still 17 hearts. If she wins that, she could, um, she could surpass Weasel. You know, I could see her in four turns hitting those hearts that she needs. Like if we look at the teaching track there, there's two, six, twelve, twenty right there in the, the first. So, you know, if she hits the right combination of those, uh, I think she needs to hit three of them. Yeah, if she hits the right three of them, then she will she'll be there. Right, but that's that's kind of up in the air. Right, that'd be difficult, but we'll see. Next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitary Megatron, we'll do something involving sailing. See you then.